That's the very beginning of the song Cannonball by the Breeders. My grandmother, Super Nana, she had an actual cannonball outside of her house. When Miley Cyrus came out with the song Wrecking Ball, my grandmother joked about how she wanted to set it up the way Miley did in her video. I miss my Super Nana. I put you high up in the sky and now. Happy weekend. Who wants to swing around on a wrecking ball? Totally forgot about that song from Miley. And I really don't think my grandmother ever really got the chance to see the entire video. Don't you ever say I just walked away. I will always want you. There were some parts that I really hope she wouldn't be reenacting. I came in like a wrecking ball. How did we get here? Well, Kim Deal, she came out with a new song called Coast. Roads take lost lives to kids on the coast. If you don't know where Kim Deal came from, let me show you. Ah, Kim Deal, singer and guitarist of the band The Breeders who sing Cannonball. All these thoughts came tumbling out of my head, all because Kim came out with a new song. Speaking of new. Yep, it's time. New Music Friday, as always. I put it here at brentevans.net, a Spotify playlist of all the songs I've talked about and thought about for today's New Music Friday. First up, Glass Animals. They just dropped their fourth studio album in nearly four years. As for the title, well, it would make author Mark Manson proud. Just like the book, people are gonna have problems explaining what they're listening to. The album title is I Love You So Effing Much. But I have to admit, everywhere that I see this album, it isn't spelled out entirely. I know, I know, I get the intention, but you know what, forget about the title. New music, 40 minutes spread out over 10 songs. I've been all in since the first release, Creatures in Heaven. We were just creatures in heaven. I don't think I realize just how much I miss you sometimes. BBY, Baby, came out with a new album called One, the number one. By the way, don't Google Baby and One because you'll just get some things that you never wanted to hear again. The album is called One because it's their first album. Several of the songs have already been released over the past couple of months, 16 in all today though. And the one being pushed by Spotify, Kinky. Yeah, we get kinky so tight. I look at you. A couple weeks ago, I was looking for additional info on Jack Kays, who released the song Blow It. Every moment, every chance he gets, he blows it. All I could find is that he's from Cincinnati, Ohio, which led me to the interesting political tidbit that President Grant's horse was named Cincinnati. That's all I had. Wake up, get drunk, put on the same old jeans that I've worn for two weeks. Jack Case has been busy, and he just released that song, Get a Job. There's a part in that song that really made me laugh. I'm gonna have to clip it out and send it to my business partner, named Bob. You say I need to get a job. Well, I hate working for a guy named Bob who can't get laid, so he takes it out on me. Before we get into the quick hits of new music, I'm highlighting this one from Bryce Fox. Yeah, I feel the drill. That's his latest song called Drip. Now, back in May, he released a five song EP, but since then, he's released Shadows. Oh, here we go again. These shadows of old seem to come back around. And now, Drip. I smell an LP coming. Let's play more Drip. Cause your desire burns the fire in my screen. 
several quick hits of new music. Hippocampus just released Paranoid, which is the first single off their upcoming album from September 20th called Flood. Now, I like Hippocampus, but if we're talking about a Flood album, I do have a favor. Look at Harry in the alley by the light switch Who watches over you Make a little birdhouse in your soul That's an album from 1990, but it's so good. Love you, they might be giants. <laughs> Japan Droids release a new song called Chicago, which is great, but... They also announced it's the first one off their upcoming album called Fate and Alcohol, due out on October 18th. Why the butt? They also announced it's their last album. <laughs> Childish Gambino also just released his final album as Childish Gambino. It is called Bando Stone and the New World. FYI, it's also the soundtrack to a Donald Glover film that goes by the same name. <laughs> Did I tell you about Bryce Fox and the song Drip? Yeah, I feel the drill. That's it. That is your new Music Friday. As always, thank you to Spotify, Rolling Stone, Apple Music, You Discover Music, Pigeons and Plains, Pitchfork, Louder, Spill Magazine, Dan DeLuca, The Philly Inquirer, and I know there's more. I put it there at brentevans.net. Uh, be sure to check out that playlist. I put it there, the Spotify one. And uh, on there, you're going to see some that, well, I didn't talk about well, until now. Uh, sports team is on there. Their album comes out, get this, February 2025. That is just crazy talk. Amy Allen, I am really enjoying some Amy Allen. And Untraceable Records, they have a fun song. You know what? Let's play some of that fun song. I ain't in love, kill the past, kicking pigeons up the ass. <laughs> Anything I miss, I do this. Missed Music Monday because I do miss. Hey, subscribers are wanted, which means go subscribe and yes, eat the frog. In the morning, always eat the frog. Get it done with. Quote of the day. Who you are is defined by what you're willing to struggle for. Mark Manson. Hey, didn't I just hear about that guy? Yes. Yes, you did. You did. Mark Manson. All right. New Music Friday again next week. BrentEvans.net. This is what I was looking for. Enjoy the now. Make it a good day. Make it a great weekend. I'll be checking in. I'm missing something. What am I missing? <laughs> it's my brain. Hey, uh, uh. I totally forgot about that song from Miley. Just. Since then, he dreamed. He dripped. <laughs> he dreamed. Is there any alcohol? <laughs>